This audio recording is intended to facilitate the gradual release of confidential documents pertaining to a top secret exchange program where 12 U.S. military personnel went to the planet Serpo, which is located in the Zeta Reticulate star system between the years 1965 and 1978. Release 29A, The Universe Resolved. It will expand forever. 16th June 2008. Explanation. Analysis of a new high-resolution map of microwave light admitted only 380,000 years after the Big Bang appears to define our universe more precisely than ever before. The eagerly awaited results announced last year from the orbiting Wilkerson Microwave Anisotropy Probe, WMAP, resolved several long-standing disagreements in cosmology. Present analysis of the map, all sky image, indicates that the universe is 13.7 billion years old, accurate to 1%, composed of 73% dark energy, 23% cold dark matter, and only 4% atoms. It is currently expanding at the rate of 71 kilometers per second, accurate to 5% underwent episodes of rapid expansion called inflation and will expand forever. Release 29A1, our universe is shown to be about 13.7 to 15 billion years old in this afterglow of creation, 16th June 2008. Big Bang Theory the plane of our Milky Way galaxy runs horizontally through the center of this microwave image. This historic all-sky map is based on the first two years of data from NASA's Cosmic Background Explorer satellite. These ripples in the afterglow of creation were mapped for the first time by the COBE satellite in 1992. The COBE images confirm that only a million years after the Big Bang, which occurred roughly 13.7 to 15 billion years ago, parts of the universe were visibly hotter than other parts. The CMBR, Cosmic microwave background radiation shows that the pink areas are hotter and denser while the blue areas are cooler and less dense. By studying the size and distribution of the spots found with COBE and future missions, astronomers hope to determine the composition, density, and future of our universe. The CMBR was discovered in 1964 by Americans Arno Penzias and Robert Wilson. Release 29b, The Inflation and Contraction of Our Universe, 16th June 2008. The Universe Inflation and Contraction The universe is expanding gradually now, but its initial expansion was almost impossibly rapid as it likely grew from quantum scale fluctuation in a trillionth of a second. In fact, this cosmological scenario known as inflation is now reported to be further quantified by an analysis of three years of data from the WMAP spacecraft. The subtle properties are distilled from conditions in the early universe and related to its first moments of existence. Schematically, this diagram traces the 13.7 to 15 billion years plus a trillionth of a second history of the universe from the quantum scale to the formation of stars, galaxies, planets, M, WMAP. Release 29C. Evidence of the Big Bang and inflation are heard in the frozen ice of Antarctica. 16th June 2008. Explanation. On the frozen ice near the bottom of the world, increasingly sophisticated instruments listen for a more precise echo of how our universe started. Independent collaborations behind three such instruments announce evidence that overtones heard are consistent with our universe having only about 5% normal matter and 95% dark matter or dark energy. This amount of normal matter was expected were our universe to have undergone a particularly explosive early phase of the Big Bang known as inflation. Fluctuations of microwave light are thought to be caused by sound waves moving through the early universe. Pitchard is the remote receiver for the degree angular scale interferometer that recorded one of the data sets. 
release 29D. Will the universe end in a big rip, big crunch, or big freeze? 16th June 2008 Explanation How will our universe end? Although the universe started with a big bang, analysis of cosmological measurements allows a possibility that it will end with a big rip. As soon as a few billion years from now, the controversial scenario holds. Dark energy will grow to such a magnitude that our own Milky Way galaxy will no longer be able to hold itself. After that, stars, planets, and then even atoms might not be able to withstand the expansive internal forces. Previously, speculations on the ultimate fate of the universe centered on either a re-collapsing big crunch or a big freeze. Although the universe's fate is still a puzzle, piecing it together will likely follow from an increased understanding of the nature of dark matter and dark energy. Release 29E, The Time Frame of Inflation and Contraction, 16th June 2008 Our Universe, Creation, An Extraterrestrial Perspective and a Schematic Diagram of Our Egg-Shaped Universe, Special Note, the material universe where we live and all galaxies are located is in belt number four colored in blue of the seven belts which comprise each and every universe that are contained within the absolute absolutum. Note, see references to the enormous time frames of creation and our universe at the very end of this posting. Our current scientific viewpoint defines the universe as all matter and energy, including Earth, the galaxies and all therein, and the contents of intergalactic space regarded as a whole. Fundamentally, it is viewed as an immense collection of stellar material originating from a primeval explosion, appropriately termed the Big Bang, from which all time, space, life, and being originated. However, the extent of our knowledge of the universe is quite elementary and severely limited by the power of our telescopes and other such research devices. According to the Plagiarian extraterrestrials, we have not even begun to peer into the unfathomably vast expanses of our universe, let alone understand what it actually is and how it truly began. The Plagiarians a civilization over 8,000 years ahead of us in technical knowledge and one which receives wisdom and knowledge from beings much more highly evolved and knowledgeable than they are themselves at a loss to fully understand the universe and the mysterious meaning of its existence. Creation and Extraterrestrial Perspective to begin to explain the concepts of the universe, it would be helpful to note that the Plagiarians generally use the term universe synonymously with the term creation. The most fundamental energy which comprises the universe, respectively, creation is the finest of energies appropriately labeled as fine matter by the Plagiarians or spiritual matter. This level of matter has yet to be discovered by terrestrial scientists and remains still hidden during mankind's quest to understand the true origin and nature of our physical reality and its manifold secrets. To further expand on the definition of creation, an excerpt from FIGU's periodical Stim de Wassermansat, Voice of the Aquarian Age, number 89, December 1993, states the following. Creation is the immeasurable mystery suspended in immeasurable expanse. Creation is identical to universal consciousness, which guides and prevails in the being of consciousness. It is a double helixed egg-shaped configuration that simultaneously constitutes the universe in its growing expansion. Its pulsating double helix arms live as spiritual energy while rotating around each other. The universe is creation's internal and external body. Creation, through its entirety, pulsates the universal Jamat, a non-translatable German term for the spiritual counterpart to the psyche, and the universal consciousness, the power of life and existence in general. Creation pervades everything and everything pervades creation, therefore forming oneness within itself. Within this oneness occurs all life and all of the evolution allotted to it. Creation has the identical developmental and evolutionary process as every life form. However, its values of time are anchored in very high values indeed. Creation itself exists in a conscious creative state for seven great times, 
Subsequently, it lays dormant for an equal number of great times, but this time they last seven times as long. Following this period, creation is awake to create once again for a period seven times as longer once again than the previous one. Our universe expands for 155 trillion 520 billion terrestrial years. Our universe contracts for 155 trillion 520 billion terrestrial years. And then it sleeps and cogitates its previous existence in its awake cycle for an equal number of years. 155 trillion 520 billion plus 155 trillion 520 billion equals one great time equals 311 trillion 40 billion terrestrial years. Seven great times equals two quadrillion 177 trillion 280 billion terrestrial years and is called an eternity. Seven eternities equals one cosmic great times or all great time equals 15 quadrillion 240 trillion 960 billion earth terrestrial years. Current evolutionary state of our universe. We are nearly 46 trillion earth years into the second expansion cycle, second great time since the Big Bang event took place. Creation is the creation and there exists no creation other than it within our own universe. Creation is the creation of all creation, such as the universe, the galaxies, stars, earth. Earth is equivalent to planets in this context, skies, light and darkness, time, space, and all multitudes of life forms in existence, each according to its own species. Creation is justice, love, strength, wisdom, knowledge, compassion, freedom, mercy, laws, directive, alliance, fulfillment, evolution, life, support, joy, beauty, peace, infallibility, equilibrium, spirit, forever, logic, growth, perfection, contentment, inexhaustibility, omnipotence, sweetness, infinity, solidarity, perception, hearkening, elevation, the Sohar, gentleness, lucidity, purity, transformation, origin, future, power, reverence, allness, and being. Creation is the being and non-being of life. It is the most immense mass of spiritual energy in the universe. Creation is spirit in its purest form and immeasurable in its wisdom, knowledge, love, and harmony in truth. Creation is a spiritually dynamic, pure spirit energy that prevails over everything. Incomprehensible for human beings, it is an active creative wisdom in the midst of its own incessant evolution. It is all-encompassing for all times. Creation is verity, the all-embracing solace, comprehensiveness, guidance, equality, accuracy, cognition, empirical knowledge, admonition, discipline, recollection, revelation, praise, perfection, explanation, and direction. Creation is the path of life. It is nature, light, fire, and contemplation. Creation is consciousness. It is omnipresent glory to be creation. How our universe was created by the absolute absolutum, which created all of the other universes which reside within it, and its initial shape and configuration. In its initial stage, creation exists in a slumber or cogitating state. It begins virtually as small as a flea and is highly concentrated spiritual energy formed by the ultimately highest forms of creation above it. Designated by the Plagiarians as the Absolute Absolutum, a spiritual explosion subsequently occurs which instantly fills the entire space the universe initially occupies. Creation continues to expand for a period of time during which physical matter, for example, celestial bodies and life forms are continuously being created within it. Our universe is nearly 46 trillion years into the second expansion cycle since the Big Bang took place. Creation will experience a total of seven expansion contraction cycles before moving into the next level of its evolution. A Schematic of Our Universe in order to grasp a better understanding of creation, 
it would be easier to depict it in a diagrammatic form. This, however, proves to be nearly impossible given the incredibly immense proportions of its components, namely its seven belts or levels of energy. However, an attempt is made to display a schematic in order to provide at least a hint of its enormous size. The schematic presented below, this link is no longer working, is based on data present at the time just after the Big Bang. Our universe has since expanded, reflecting much higher measurement values. Imagine our expanding universe as a gigantic sphere. Now imagine if you were to slice the universe in half, thereby exposing the seven individual belts or layers within. Each belt is represented here by a distinct color for illustration purposes only. One thing that should become obvious at this point is that you can only discern four out of the seven shells within the colors green, red, yellow, and the small center point being blue. The names and width of these layers, from the outermost to the innermost, are defined below. The widths given are the thickness of each shell, not its diameter. Please bear in mind that this depiction is nowhere near an actual scale model of the universe. Number 7. The displacement belt green width equals 1.4 times 10 to the 7th light years. 6. The creation belt red width equals 1.4 times 10 to the 64 light years. 5. The transformation belt yellow width equals 1 times 10 to the 55th light years. 4. The solid state matter universe belt blue includes all galaxies, planets, stars, gases, etc width equals 2.5 times 10 to the 15th light years. So then, where are the remaining three layers? The outer layers described are so incredibly large that the innermost layers would not even show up as a pinpoint of color, yet they are huge distances nonetheless. Below is an expanded view of our interior portion of our universe, starting with the blue material universe belt described above and the remaining three belts, pink, orange, and purple, shown as an exploded pie segment. Note how significantly small our material universe actually is when compared to its entire scope. Number three, the Ur space belt pink width equals one times 10 to the 14th light years. Number two, the Ur core belt, orange, width equals one times 10 to the 14th light years. Number one, the central core, purple, radius equals 3.5 light years. The function of the individual belts in our universe involves a constant transfer of energies. All of this providing the capability for our universe to manifest a material or physical belt in which stellar material, floral, faunal, and human life can develop. To elaborate on these functions, Billy Meyer responds to a question about the material belt of our universe. An excerpt from FIGU's Bulletin No. 5 by Billy Meyer. Question. What is the universal material belt? Answer. The universal material belt is that part or belt, respectively, of the universe where matter exists. That is to say, planets, suns, galaxies, meteors, comets, gases, the entire dark matter, and other things. All of these things exist only within this material belt, whereas no material whatsoever can be found in the internal and external belts, of which there exists seven in all. In the so-called transformation belt, those forms develop from which matter develops that later exist in the material belt, hence in our visible Dern universe. This is the only portion of the universe we human beings are capable of seeing and exploring. We cannot see anything beyond it, for only total emptiness and blackness reign there. Absolutely nothing can be observed or detected, even with the best modern astronomical or other extraordinary tools available to us. The inner and outer belts beyond our visible material universe are practically endless and are vast and dark if one includes the innermost radiant belt where the Big Bang originated approximately 46 trillion years ago. The after effects of the Big Bang continue to linger within the adjacent belt which, looking at it from Earth, is roughly 1.2 times 10 to the 15th light years away at its closest proximity. Terrestrial scientists are incapable of peering and listening into these depths of space even with the most elaborate super devices. 
And this indicates precisely the degree of our scientists' narrow-mindedness when they claim the universe is barely as old as the distance they can penetrate into the nearly endless space with their observation devices and contraptions. They do not have the remotest clue that the universe extends far beyond what they envision it to be and that it has six additional belts in total which are void of any coarse material or matter. Matter itself is in constant transformation within the material belt and it is therefore subject to growth and disintegration processes. For this reason, matter can never be or become as old as the complete universe. At any given time, therefore, only young matter can be found in the material universe, matter that can at least be a mere 40 or 45 billion years old in a solid and compact state, while the age of the complete universe beyond the material belt, respectively our material universe, amounts to approximately 46 trillion years. The attempt to schematically depict the complete universe is an impossible feat due to its colossal size. Additionally, its spiral egg shape complicates everything even more. Nonetheless, here is an attempt by way of a circular diagram, a model to illustrate an overview of what our complete universe looks like, which bears the name Dern Universe. The sketch proportions do not correspond in distance with one another, of course, since this is only a schematic diagram. For more specific data regarding this material, I suggest you read Guido Moosbrugger's lecture as printed in our FIGU pamphlet, Uben Denkenschwert Vortrag, Lectures to Ponder, available only in German at this point. In the above illustration, belt number 4 blue depicts our material universe, that is to say, the part of the complete universe where the galaxies exist with suns, planets, meteors, gas clouds, comets, and so forth. The Earth space, number three pink, is the belt from which emanates the so-called background radiation that leads back to the Earth core, number two orange. The actual Earth layer in whose center lies the central core, number one purple, that constitutes the actual Big Bang location, the Big Bang center. Beginning in the Earth space, matter starts its development and then passes into the universe belt, hence our material universe. This matter consists of energy, however, which intermingles with other energy forms that penetrate from the transformation belt number 5 yellow into our material universe. The energy matter from Earth space is positive while the other matter from the transformative belt is negative. As they join into the material universe, they develop into new energy forms from which ultimately coarse matter evolves. In the transformation belt number 5 yellow, the fine matter energies of the creation belt number 6 red are transformed into energy forms that already extend into the realm of material energy. This makes them absorbable by the transformation belt and they are turned into coarse energy. The creation belt number 6 red absorbs the finest of energies from the space of the absolute absolutum which is located beyond the displacement belt also called ram belt number 7 green whose function it is to nudge away the walls of the other universes that float within the space of the absolute absolutum as well. The displacement belt also performs another function namely that of absorbing the finest energy matter from the absolute absolutum spheres and passing them on into the creational belt. This process supplies the complete universe with all the indispensable energies it needs to exist. Although it created itself, or rather was created through the Ur idea of the previous Ur creation, one can see that the complete universe nevertheless requires external energies, in this case from the absolute absolutum, upon whose finest energies ultimately 10 to the 49th different forms of creation depend in infinite number. Regardless of the fact that the complete creation, universal consciousness, or whatever one wishes to call the complete universe, is capable of supporting itself, it nonetheless requires some force and energy that enables the universe to achieve it. This force or energy is provided by the absolute absolutum. 
The absolute absolutum is the only entity capable of passing on the indispensable and fundamental energies to all existing forms of creation within the entire vastness of all creational forms, so that they in turn have the capability of being able to support themselves. And yet, even the absolute absolutum is dependent upon an external life energy, which it does not draw from a higher type of creation, but directly from what human beings call the ab. The absolute nothing does, however, contain the fundamental finest energies from which the absolute absolutum self-created itself in an unfathomably long time ago. The enormous time frame of our universe and creation. A good reference to the enormous time frame of our universe is located at the website. A similar listing of our cosmic numbers is at and see the last section at the bottom of the page at. In some Hindu astronomical books, there is a section recounting this ancient cosmology, probably for historical reference. There might be such a section in the Indian astronomical ephemis. Scientists from Human Genome Project examined junk DNA as possibly ET in origin. In the attached outstanding article, Reference is made to serious scientific discussions of so-called human junk DNA having perhaps an extraterrestrial origin, suggesting past biogenetic manipulation of Homo sapiens sapiens in eons past by one or more alien races. However, for those Gnostics on this list, for example, the elite few who are in the know, who have followed and studied the voluminous contact notes of Billy Meyer Pleiadin's case for years, this is old news. All of this information is specified in www.thefly.com. And yet they fly by Guido Moosbrugger. DNA Manipulations Scientists will discover the manipulated gene from ancient times in the DNA chain responsible for the rapid aging in human beings. Preparations in this area began already in 1994. However, whether scientists make their discovery public and utilize their findings to their fruitless merit is questionable. The way things look now, public disclosures regarding these discoveries will not be made until a much later date and probably will still remain this way for a very long time before the public will be fully informed about the discovery. Therefore, a long period will pass before the genetic manipulations are reversed by retromanipulation of the pertinent gene. For the time being, scientists will be unaware that the gene they have stumbled upon is the key factor and that it is this particular gene which was previously manipulated once before many millions of years ago. Page 353, the DNA fight against aging. However, barely three decades prior to this event, a third DNA information code will be discovered in the human body, and the first concrete steps will be undertaken to eliminate diseases in the elderly, heart diseases, and attrition. After approximately 25 years, these efforts will prove successful. Page 356. Immortality Increased Problems will also occur within human populations because their relative immortality, that is, the increase in human longevity, will amount to lifespans of from 350 to 450 years. This increase in longevity will also participate increasingly greater problems of overpopulation and all other subsequent obstacles, which will include migrations that will result in new types of interbred peoples. Among them will be a group who call themselves Eurasians. They will demand the Eurasian region for their homeland at a time when the semi-humans, those with human-animal genetically manipulated creatures, and the robot humans will be creating incredible problems. These difficulties will lead to the deplorable decline of every space travel program and nearly bring space travel to a complete standstill. The problem will come about because of the robot humans and semi-humans refusal to continue working for normal human beings, and because of their unwillingness to continue a life of subservience and exploitation as living maneuvering devices for spaceships, vehicles, equipment, war machines, and such other gadgetry. These events will transpire at a time when a climatic reversal begins on Earth because of the sun's noticeably weakening activity triggered by reduced nuclear fusion within. Page 360, More Genetic Manipulations 
This is also the time when geriatric research through genetic reversal manipulation will release the human population from the premature aging curse, a curse that was brought about long time ago in the initial fighting people's genes by gene manipulator, the creator overlords. This reverse manipulation will afford man an even longer lifespan than that achieved by terrestrial geneticists through prior procedures, whereby human lives increase to an average life expectancy of 400 years. These new achievements will produce an extremely long human life expectancy of thousands of years. In the ensuing few years, the time will come when intelligent ocean dwellers will begin to contact human beings and communicate with them, and a new race of terrestrial inhabitants will thereby be founded. Then the time will come when aggressions with Martian inhabitants populated by Earth's inhabitants who started colonies will begin and result in the actual launching of attacks on the colonies. These events will be followed by 15 years of relative calm, finally bringing good fortune to Earth's inhabitants in their quest to find their actual origins. A terrestrial space expedition will penetrate into the regions of Sirius and discover, or rather locate there, proof of the ur ur, -ur ancestry of the human beings on Earth, who previously were procreated through genetic manipulations in ancient times by the Sirius creator overlords. This discovery will reveal that over many millennia, the terrestrial's ancestors fled across long twisting paths, found the soul system, and began settling there. This humankind on Earth will eventually find its direction back to its origin, which of course will not suddenly resolve mankind's problems by any means. Page 360-361 terrestrial mankind is reacquainted with their creator overlords. Of course, linked to this discovery will also be contacts with very distant ancestors of the previous creator overlords, as well as other intelligences from Sirius that will, by then, no longer lead to the pursuit of slaughter of the genetically manipulated descendants, the terrestrials. The contacts will lead to a collaboration instead, resulting in the previous genetic manipulation's definitive reversal. This action, in turn, will result in the birth of new descendants who will be normal and no longer be degenerate. The circle finally closes and man will become a true human being, an equilibrium with the negative and positive. The reversal of this previous degeneration gene manipulation, along with the continuing climbing overpopulation, precipitated even more so by the extraordinary human longevity, will result in plans for the eradication of those humans in whom the genetic reverse manipulations had not yet been performed. On Earth, as well as on all the other worlds colonized by terrestrials and space stations inhabited by them. This eradication will transpire in the same manner previously proclaimed and demanded by responsible individuals a very long time ago, a worldwide halt in the birth rate over a seven-year cycle. Within this framework, only parents whose degeneration was previously eradicated through genetic reverse manipulation will be permitted to procreate. Only those individuals, therefore, will be legally entitled to sire an offspring. Illegal pregnancies will be assessed as the most abhorrent crime, punishable by death, to the guilty parties. This concept will only come about as an inescapable law five years before the period when complete authority over planet Earth is placed into the hands of the administrative sphere within the Sirius Alliance and enforced therefrom. And that is the end of this video. If you like things like this, please give this video a thumbs up. Please share this video. And if you are new to the channel, please subscribe. I will have more things like this. Take care.